Oh joy, Rapture. Warframe's getting an update. Right, as soon as it actually starts updating. No, oh, seriously. Why must you come out? Finally, there you go, you're fucking updating. 840.63 megabits bytes. Major pains in the butt. <laughs> oh, come on. Hold on, I'll show you. It fucking. 30 kilobytes a second. Seriously? Are you fucking joking? <clears throat> I'm supposed to be getting 200 fucking megabytes. Not fucking kilobytes. That's absurd. I'm not the only one having that problem. <clears throat> and on an additional note, usually I unplug the gateway when I'm done for the evening or whenever. <sighs> and Then I plug it back in when I'm going to do something with it again. But as a test, so that uh, when I do call the ISP and talk to a technician, I've left the going for a whole fucking week. Because when they look and they see the ups and the downs, that could be for a number of reasons. So, I've mitigated the variable of me unplugging and plugging the damn uh, power supply back in. That way, what they look at, if they see ups and downs, signal losses and stuff like that, it's not because I'm unplugging it. absolutely need to get a um, uh, what's the damn thing called a surge protector with battery backup because every time every time a strong wind so much as jostles the connections because I'm, I'm in a crappy place that the landlord doesn't maintain no maintenance at all all she does is have, have a family member mow the grass every so often, every season. That's it. There's, there's no plumbing maintenance. There's, there's no electrical maintenance. It's the landlord's job to fucking have technicians come out and pay professionals to maintain what little there is of this shithole I'm in. Honestly, the fucking greedy bitch needs to stop buying a new car every year. I've seen her go through one a year as far as I've been here for the past five fucking years. It's just mind-numbing how disconnected these jackasses are from reality. And she needs to get new trailers in. There's no fucking way this is worth four or five fucking hundred dollars a month. 
when it first moved in it wasn't even worth one hundred dollars a month at this point the bitch should be paying me to live here because of the shitty ass conditions why I keep the the patron the PayPal the cash app and then the video description in the description for the channel good because I need finances to do things with I need to buy the equipment to install so that it doesn't damage my my gateway my laptop or my console every time a strong breeze jostles the the fucking power line and um, interrupts the electricity or causes a surge that fries the internal components I mean they've probably got like five or six pages worth on file at the ISP that I'm using saying oh yeah blah 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 this guy needs a new fucking gateway every so often this is absurd we need to charge him more for that shit I don't blame him if that's the case I don't blame him as as a customer of an ISP it's it's my responsibility to take preventative measures to protect and maintain my equipment and if you've got a, a router modem gateway whatever combination or individual piece thereof it's your responsibility to ensure that as little harm comes to it as possible that's our job as, as the uh, customers the company's job as the ISP is to just provide the, the piece of equipment and the service to uh, get online and do things and they very well can't do their job efficiently if I'm not upholding my end of the uh, unspoken uncontractual agreement because that's what it is it's an agreement of honor, discipline, respect, and self-control. Self-control not to damage the equipment. Honor, discipline, and respect to maintain it. Equitably and fairly. Both. Not just one or the other, but equitably and fairly. <clears throat> I very well can't do that because I don't have the additional resources to actually do so with plus there's the whole uh, inflation problem even before the viral outbreak I paid attention and watched over just a very small six months not even a whole number of years as a cheap 86 cent loaf of bread went to two dollars and ninety something cents nearly quadrupling four times the price after the dot-com bubble now we've got a whole new beast to worry about So I have to have to present the information that I'm about to present. The links for PayPal, Patreon, uh, GoFundMe, and Cash App, a wide assortment of whatever flavor of 
financial support you choose. It's there. The links are there. I've, I've tested them myself. I've had someone else test them for me. They work. <clears throat> if you enjoy any of the dumb shit that I do, any of it at all, just click on one of the links on on PC in YouTube. If you've got a, a dollar a month to spare on on Patreon, that'll help. Uh, PayPal for one-time lump sums. Same with uh, Cash App. That way, if you can't afford to do something every month, there's just the one-time option. I really don't like adding that at the end of every video I make. But hey, I'm going to be putting in a concerted effort to let everyone know at the end of my videos, hey, it's there. <laughs> now I'm going to go and see what the Warframe update was about. Hopefully a lot of bugs and glitches that... Uh, I've noticed and others have noticed have been fixed. Till next time.